Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing another idea commented by one of you subscribers so many many thanks to the person who commented this idea you know who you are so today we're actually been going to head to the sun for a change we don't really do much with the sun and we're going to replace it with the largest exoplanet ever found so let's go and straight into this and also guys we are five subscribers away from 1400 so let's see if we can get it tonight i genuinely believe we well i'm pretty sure we can get it tonight so yeah let's see if we can do that because that will be awesome because damn it's growing so fast maybe we can get to 1500 this month i reckon we could do that yeah, let's try and get that because that'd be awesome but yeah anyways yeah enough of me rambling on let's go and start this so here's the largest planet compared to the sun so this thing is relatively large 40 masses of jupiter actually ignore that because I, I can't get it any more accurate than this because if i mess with the mass or radius here this thing is just gonna break because this, this is a very well it's quite a very hard object to curate but we'll do it as best as we can with this one here so let's do that okay it's right in the middle of the sun there and now we're gonna go ahead and delete the sun so we'll do this twice we'll have um First of all, we'll press play and we won't do auto orbit. Um, and then secondly, and then the second time, we'll make all the objects orbit this and see if anything different happens. So let's start off just by pressing play and not doing anything else. So let's do this. So what's going to happen here? Oh, now it is turning into a brown dwarf. See, this thing's really hard to do, or this planet. Yeah, but yeah, so you can see there. The planets are just drifting away. I don't think anything's going to work here. As you can see, yeah, that, that, that the solar system just doesn't work. So... Yeah, that's the end of that scenario already. So, now we'll do it properly. Well, we'll actually make them orbit this object. So, largest planet. Let's put you right in the middle there. And then we're going to go ahead and delete the sun. So, let's get rid of you. Now we're going to go and do this. So, auto orbit. Now, things should play a little different. So, let's hit play. And let's see what happens. So, let's do this. And hopefully... They will orbit around it. Oh, their orbits have definitely changed, I think. Have they? Oh, they're still looking reckless to me. But it's in a binary orbit with Jupiter now. Because obviously it's got a lot less mass than the Sun does. So it's now sort of owns the solar system with Jupiter here. So this could get pretty interesting. So now let's speed up time and see how fast we can go here. Is anything going to happen? So obviously Earth and all the other planets are going to cool down in temperature. Since there is no star anymore, this doesn't count as a star, I remember. So... Yeah, this has really no luminosity at all, so... Yeah, no, the, all life in the system will die if it needs sunlight, so... That is not good, but as we look here... Is anything really happening? I, I can't remember if I've done this episode before either. I, I may have done it a long time ago, but since we're in a newer version of the game now... We'll probably get a different outcome, so... Yeah, I don't think I've done it before, but if I have... Yeah, this, this is like a re remade version, because with some of my really, really old videos... Um, I have remade them, like, on purpose, so, yeah, I think one of my first ever videos I did, I remade, which was surrounding the solar system with blue stars, and then I did um, an episode on how Saturn's rings could have formed and stuff like that, I remade all those episodes, just because I thought I wanted to do it in better quality, so, yeah, that's that, but anyways, you can see here that, um, the largest planet has actually got a little mini orbit going on, as you can see, it has, it's doing a little bit of a circle, as you can see here, it's not moving very fast, but you can see it is doing a little circle as it moves in this big orbit around with Jupiter here so it looks like mainly Jupiter's the one moving as you can see here but this thing is slightly moving with Jupiter just yeah Jupiter's attracting its gravity a lot it looks like because as you can see from the trails it's barely moving anywhere but with the orbits it looks like it's moving with Jupiter even though it isn't really and then the rest of the solar system is just wobbling here so yeah that is that so not really much um, when we add this object in. We can try it one more time. So, I don't really know how to do this. We could actually, what if we just lower the mass of the sun to 40 Jupiters? Maybe that will give us a similar but different object like this. So, it's a lot smaller, but it has the same mass. So, it should have the same effect. So, let's see what else could happen, maybe. This sort of a similar scenario. So, this is sort of like the original one, but will they still orbit the sun or not? Okay, doesn't look like they will, even though the sun was the same object. Okay, interesting. So, they just don't even want to stay here. Well, that, that just happened. So, I think that's it for the video. Quite a short little idea. We don't need to make this a really, really long video because, yeah, I don't want to bore you guys. But, yeah, if you make if you replace the sun with the largest planet, 
according to the tests I have done, nothing happens. It just... They, the planets either drift off or they orbit the new object and then Earth and stuff just gets colder and absolutely nothing happens. So, yeah, that is that. So, hopefully you guys all enjoyed this short little video. Make sure if you did, hit that like button, subscribe for more. Helps on the journey to 1,400 subscribers because I think we can get it in the next 12 hours, which will be pretty awesome. So, yeah, let's see if we can do that. And, yeah, make sure you all have a good day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.